So here we are, and we're going to start talking about polar plots. And the polar plot is what speed does the boat go at at a certain wind speed and at a certain angle to the boat. And so the manufacturer will produce that uh, document, that polar plot, and then it's up to you to trim the sails and make the boat go as fast as it will and see if it'll... Um, match what the manufacturer says it is. So here we are, um, we're going along and we're 40 degrees TWA, true wind angle. So if you look at the wind, it's coming from over there, we're heading there, so that angle right there is 40 degrees. And um, there's another uh, thing you notice down here, 36, that's apparent wind angle. So that means the wind, the apparent wind, the wind that we feel is coming from over there and that's purely because the speed that we are going at. So imagine if the boat um, started going at say 100 miles an hour, well the speed would, of the wind that we would feel with our hand would be you know, coming from right about there. So the faster the boat, the more the wind feels like it's coming from the front of the boat. Um, but really right now the true wind is over there. And then the other thing to notice is, is as the boat slows down, the wind that we feel acts more like the true wind. So if we stop the boat, uh, we would feel it coming from definitely directly over there because it's, that's where the wind's coming from. And as we speed up, the apparent wind is going to feel like it's coming more from the front. Little side um, discussion there. Okay, so we're at 40 degrees, true wind angle, and the boat speed is at 4.6. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare that against the polar plot and then we'll just do a few other um, angles and we'll see what's going on here so now I'm going to turn the boat through to say 60 degrees off the wind so let's do that and you also have to set the sails perfectly so we need to set the sails out a little bit and right there on the main and looks like the head sail needs to come in a wee bit and let's get this thing going at exactly 60 degrees off the wind. So right there, 60, and boat speed, 6.2. So we'll compare that against the polar plot. And we'll just try to maximize that, 6.2. But that's about as best we can get. Okay, let's try 60, let's try 90 degrees off the wind. And we're gonna balance the sail plan out, so let's do that. And let's go to 90. So here we are, 90. Be careful getting in a bit of fog here. And the wind is shifting, so we've got to keep our eye on that. So 90 degrees, right there. 8.1, let's see if we can make the boat go faster. Get back to 90. So it looks like about 90 degrees we can get 8.1 out of it as best we can so we'll compare that and let's do one more let's go to say 110 and we'll compare that against the polar plot we'll probably need to let the sails out just a little bit till they start flapping and then bring them in Hopefully about there we're still on 110 113 117 winds changing a little bit we'll bring it back up Ten, eight point six knots, eight point nine knots, nine knots. I saw nine knots there for a second. Where are you going? Please come back to the racing area. So nine knots, I believe, is what we got. Okay, let's go compare those against the uh, polar plot. Okay, so this is the data that we got from the manufacturer, which not really because we're doing virtual reality, but this is the data that we have in the virtual reality system on the boat that we have programmed into virtual reality. So these are the wind angles. So at uh, 
zero degrees wind angle right into the wind, obviously you're going zero degree, zero speed. Uh, 10 degrees into the wind, you can barely make uh, one knot. So um, when it starts to get interesting is when you're really sailing in, in 30 degrees off the wind, 3.6 knots, 40 degrees off the wind, 4.6, uh, 50, 5.5, so 90 degrees off the wind uh, with this boat at 12 knots, that's what it's set at, um, you're going 8.1 knots. Now, if it was 10 knots, obviously you're going less and all these numbers would be less, but this is set for a 12 knots. So, um, and this goes all the way down through um, all the angles uh, off the wind and then notice the last ones that, with the spinnaker. So what we did is we plotted that onto uh, a polar plot. So let's zoom in on this a little bit. And here we are. So this is the knots right here. So um, at four knots, so anything around this circle here is four knots, okay? Um, anything around this circle here is eight, and this circle here is nine. So what we're looking at is if you, this is where the polar plot works. If you are sailing at 40 degrees off the wind, so that's this angle here, 40 degrees, and the wind is 12 knots, uh, according to the this um, over here, the wind speed is 12 knots. So at 40 degrees, right there, your boat should be going, let's see, that's about five, that's six and four, so five's about there. So right there's about 4.4 knots or something like that. And if we look at the plot, um, what's it got? 4.6, so that's probably right actually. So 5 there, it's about 4.6. So if you're sailing at 50 degrees off the wind, your boat should be going um, right there about 5.5. 5. 5. Let's have a look at the graph there. Um, so 60 degrees, so if you're sailing 60 degrees off the wind, the theoretical speed you should be able to get the boat up to is about 6 knots of boat speed with see six knots comes around here like this six knots all right and then 70 degrees off the wind you should be able to go seven knots so anything anything around here this curve is seven knots um, if you're at 90 degrees off the wind you're just over eight knots so that's like 8.1 and if you're 110 knots 110 degrees off the wind you should be able to do about 9.1 knots so let's compare that to what we had um, in the video. Now, okay, so we're at 40 degrees, true wind angle, and the boat speed is at 4.6. So right there, 60, and boat speed, 6.2. So it looks like about 90 degrees, we can get 8.1 out of it as best we can. Let's do one more, let's go to say 110. So nine knots, I believe, is what we got. So let's jump back and see what we got and compare it against the uh, graph that we got from the manufacturer. Not really, because we're doing VR here. But anyway, so um, we should, uh, we got 4.6. We got 4.6. Uh, 6.0 versus 6.2, pretty close. We're a little faster than what was going on. Um, 8.1 at 90 degrees off the wind, and we got 8.1 and 110 degrees off the wind, 9.1, and we got nine. So we plotted those points uh, on the graph here. Um, so again, this is what the boat should be doing, the red line here at any angle to the wind at 12 knots. And as we went back in and did our best uh, on those angles, here's what we got. So we got, we nailed it there. We nailed it pretty darn close at 60 degrees. We got, uh, right on at 90 and then we were just a little bit shy at 110 degrees so overall i think we did a pretty good job of sailing now there's one other thing that i want to show you and a lot of people always say why do they create a polar plot i mean this is really complicated and it and it's not complicated once you start figuring it out but why do they do it this way surely there's another way where you could create a plot that makes uh, more sense, more intuitive sense. And it really comes down to this. Uh, in a sailboat, you're trying to do your VMG, your velocity made good. And so we measure velocity made good by how fast upwind uh, you can travel. And so if you take a look at this red curved line, right here, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to drop another line right onto it here. So when you are 40 degrees off the wind and you're trying to head upwind in an upwind direction up here, this is your speed that you're going upwind. So if you were, if the red line was up here, you'd be traveling at you know, around about seven knots. So on this red line, on this boat, at 12 knots of wind speed following this curve, the fastest VMG, the fastest speed that this boat can go upwind is traveling at 40 degrees off the wind and the velocity of the boat upwind is right here. And so that is going to be right at around about this speed, right here, 3.5 knots okay so um, that's the fastest the boat can go upwind 3.5 knots now what is the boat speed actually doing and the boat speed is actually doing 4.6 right so we figured that one out before so the boat speed is doing 4.6 because we follow this curve around we get 4.6 and that's going in this direction, in the 40 degree direction. But the boat actually is going in this direction, 3.5 knots. All right, so, so that's called your VMG. Now, if you've taken our electronic navigation course, you'll understand that a lot more. But for now, that's a really good introduction to polar plots for you. And I really hope you enjoyed us using the virtual reality program to introduce that to you. Ciao for now. So it looks like about 90 degrees we can get 8.1.